Making maple syrup isn't exactly a simple process, but thanks to a grant, Cornell Cooperative Extension of Jefferson County is teaching people how to craft their own. Tonight, we learn more with 7 News reporter Chad Charette. When you're picking out your trees and picking out where you're going to put your sugar bush, just keep in mind that each tree can produce several gallons a day. Aspiring tree tappers gathered at Cornell Cooperative Extension for a crash course in all things maple syrup making Saturday. We've had a lot of interest over the years of uh, maple production and uh, Myself, um, I enjoy maple production. It's a great project to do with the kids. It was the first in a series of agriculture classes funded by a USDA grant. Attendees learned to identify trees, tap sap, get the tape, and turn it into maple syrup. So I was looking for some face-to-face -face education and take a tour of a farm and see where we go from there. Once the class concluded, folks headed to Rodman for an in-depth look at Zor's Tap a Tree Sugar Shack. Inside the steamy structure, they watched maple boil and were even able to sample the finished product. Then this one was the last batch of the year. And it's really dark. The folks running the operation were more than happy to show it off. We love having a young folks learning how and carrying on the tradition of making maple, maple syrup. Recent weather has allowed the folks at Zor Tapa Tree to start maple production a little early. Saturday marked their first boil of the season, and we're told. It's looking like it's going to be a good one. We normally start getting it around the middle of February, so to us it looks really good. Um, we did. We are not going to tap all our trees yet, but we do have several hundred taps in right now. A full list of classes offered by Cornell Cooperative Extension of Jefferson County can be found on the Events tab of the organization's website. Chad Charette, 7 News.